Hello everyone, it's Alshas, Mega Sun Fjord, and I will show you how to install Android 7.0 Nougat ROM on Galaxy S4 on both models, which is also internationally included. So, first of all, guys, um, you will have to have original USB cable and uh, your device, and as well a PC or MacBook. So, um, let's begin. I want to show you guys that very interesting website which is called Android and uh, this helps this website is very helpful and this case will just head uh, directly to Galaxy S4 Android Nougat and 7.0 ROM and here we have a headline which is the same I told you and this uh, this will be a tutorial how to install that without any problem and uh, so we have seen some instructions here and description uh, but first of all guys make sure that you have to root your android device uh, if, if, for example if you have android 6.0 and of course this galaxy s4 uh, the latest official model was Gal uh, android 5 Point zero point one, as I remember. So, guys, make sure that you root your Android device first. And here are some tutorials. So that's the first thing. Also, guys, I wanna um, show you a very nice uh, application which is called King Root. And uh, this application can be just. Uh, installed on your device and then uh, by and then you you can use that okay so uh, let's let's go ahead and then the next step that you will have to do is to install a custom ROM using TVRP recovery so you will have to install TVRP recovery and here's the tutorial so let's close that and this is a tutorial and th this is a screenshot how it looks like so you can see uh, the temperature the percentage you can also use this application once it's closed I mean once you do have nothing on your device you can just connect the USB cable and then just plug in and you will be still be able to use a file explorer as you can see here this is a folders in the file explorer so um, you have to download to transfer custom like the wish and blah 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 so that's the second thing that you will have to do also guys as I remember you can install that directly on your phone okay so let's go so what we if you have done that everything so you have to download two files one of them is the ROM itself another one is Google Apps for the latest version of Android so let's head in just click on that link and you'll be headed directly to the link of the downloads file Okay, here is also stock kernel, some comments which might be helpful. Okay, so just click on this link and you will be proceeded to another link and just uh, follow up by clicking USA download. Uh, you, if you are from Europe anyway, you still use that because you will have to upgrade to Pro. So if you have nothing so just use the free version and just click for USA download and then it will just pops up that it's being downloaded so guys I downloaded it so there is no need to use that okay so um, you can see that it, it will start soon and the second thing is to download Google Android apps so let's head in and i think that it will be somewhere so here and actually it should be some okay so you will have to wait a little bit but anyway guys you can just uh, download google apps 
by clicking uh, GAPS like this. Just click enter and then go to navigate to open GAPS project. And then here we go. Click for RM, RME, then 7.0, which is the latest one. And then for you can choose all, a lot of variants here. So I prefer installing full or mini because uh, otherwise you will have like very limited, um, very limited functionality, and then it will not be very useful. So then click on download selected Google Apps. So guys, just click on the home button, uh, volume app, home button, and uh, power button. Just wait a little bit after you hear vibration and you will see a recovery. Okay, so that's, you're doing fine. And wait a little bit. And here we go. This, uh, make sure that Team Vive uh, Team Win Recovery Project is uh, at least 3.0.0 and uh, first of all guys if you have a previous version or a stock version just make sure that you will just wipe everything out there is no need to like go to advanced wipe settings uh, format data just swipe to factory set okay it shouldn't take long since um, since this uh, ROM doesn't uh, it's not a very big one so just go back with this back uh, button and then just ins make click install and you will make sure that you will put all the files on your um, on your device so plug in the USB cable and let's head to PC. Okay, so make sure that you download those two files. And I will show you. Okay, so make sure that it, you also make sure that you have latest USB, uh, US, latest USB Samsung drivers in order for this to function. So you can see I can get here. Here you will have to, as I mentioned before, to put two files. So uh, this will be open Google Apps. And the second one, AOCP7. You can open that and you will be able to see some things. Uh, like meta like install and other different things so there is no need to open but just to show you as a proof that this um, this file contains all the things but it might not open so but it opens so we can see it must be inside here so okay so once it's here uh, just click on the uh, select the image okay so let's just click on that this one and also add more zips and you will have to add uh, open gaps uh, 7.0 which is the latest version okay and you can see that the file one more file was added and just swipe to confirm flash that's it so you will have to wait a little bit and you will see like this uh, information and you should just add very fast and you see that everything just goes fluently without any errors just wait also you will see after this uh, is done you will see google apps installation so and um, okay you can see guys also the temperature of the device battery 44 plus and installing zip one of the two files so now it's installing the main rom aocp number seven and guys this is um you will see that the android uh, version 7.0 
But anyway, this is the, the alpha or even or alpha or beta version. So um, keep in mind that there might be errors and many errors at first. So, but uh, since I've been using this for some time, I didn't find many errors. So I just hope that it will work. So guys, I will just skip, okay, and get back to you. As I said, you will see, uh, okay, super user installer, installer, uh, but image patcher, and uh, so uh, you will quite soon see a Google Apps installation since it's installing zip1 and you can see that it changed installing zip2 okay go open google apps and this is the micro version you can see clearly but i just recommend you to install at least full version which you will have to you know many many things um, to use and since you will not um, just it will be user friendly so that's very important so okay just wait a little bit it shouldn't stall it shouldn't take very long so here apps some apps are and okay updating partition details okay so it's done once you see this so that's done and what you do next just click for reboot system that's all and soon you will see a boot up logo which looks really interesting and really beautiful stay tuned Great device, it has been living for so long time and still it's working like a perfect condition. Okay, so that was I was talking about. And don't worry, you will see, uh, rest, I mean, restored, instant restored. And uh, after that, it will just put up without any problem and just get into the system itself. So I'll just show you that it shows the sun again and you will see many the flashing here very nice and guys I will just skip okay so stay tuned after roughly two minutes you just get this message notification okay guys so here we are this is Android 7.0 version so let's hit Okay, so it looks pretty beautiful. So I'll show you the better angle. Angle. Okay, so it's working really smoothly. Get to settings. It's really working smoothly. Okay, so this is Android 7.0. Just head in. Okay, change log. Device Manager Droid version. Okay, wait. And then build number. So, guys, that's it. So, I hope that it will just um, will help for someone, uh, especially for people that. Uh, impatient and just waiting for the things to come okay so this is how to install the android nougat rom okay make a photo okay so i took a photo and it's working and it's really fast so it should uh, okay Let's check the camera as well ok 
here the video and it's stuck so I told you guys that it has some problems but anyway that's a very very interesting and it works and just works perfectly there's no okay so so guys uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and um, just stay tuned for more videos it should just show um, I will show you more videos and um, peace out <laughs>